Hey guys, it is me again on this beautiful Wednesday. So you know earlier I made a um, chocolate meringue pie and I always make extra filling. And I had a whole cereal bowl left of um, chocolate pie filling. So I thought I am gonna make some homemade buttermilk biscuits because my kids love this chocolate pie filling. Also, you can call it chocolate gravy like I make on the weekends for the boys. Um, they love it on hot buttermilk biscuits. They're at school right now, except I've got one homesick today, um, with belly ache. I'm just gonna make these because I want some too. So we have not done a tutorial on buttermilk biscuits and it's one of my favorites and I've been making these literally since I come out of the womb. This is the first thing my mama taught me how to make was buttermilk biscuits. My brother, my brother, my dad has a brother, his name's Ed, and he lived maybe a mile from us growing up. And I remember when I was a little girl, he would always call or come by the house going, I sure would like some of those good old buttermilk biscuits. And you know what? I made him biscuits all the time. Even when I was grown up and had my first kid, I would make him biscuits. Of course, I don't live close to him anymore and he's still alive. And you know what? I should probably make that man some buttermilk biscuits one day soon because I bet it's been a long time since he's had some. So with that being said, let's get busy and let's make some buttermilk biscuits. I don't measure this, but I'm gonna eyeball it and tell you kind of how much I use. Of course, here we go again, white lily flour, self-rising, two cups. I'm just gonna dump some in my bowl, like so. Two, two and a half cups, you know. And then I use Crisco. This is the only container I could find at Kroger's. Usually I'll get the big one, but they only had the small ones and I'm not gonna buy off-brand Crisco because I don't like it as well. So, and I've got literally maybe a quarter cup left of this. So I'm gonna put it in my flour, and I always use real butter, I mean real butter in my biscuits. I take one stick, and I go through with my knife, and I cut it, you know, down one way, then I half it. I do horizontal and vertical. So I'm gonna put this in my flour mixture with my Crisco, and I'll take my pastry blender I got from Pampered Chef, and my God, I've had this thing. This thing is probably as old as my oldest child, and she's 27. So I'll take this in my bowl and I'll just push down as hard as you can to get the butter and the Crisco incorporate it with the flour. You kind of want it like gritty. You, you know what I'm saying? I'll show you, little, little lumps, just little lumps because the butter makes a flaky biscuit and of course a buttery biscuit. And it's just a really good flavor. It almost will look like sand when you get it mixed up right. And it takes a little while to be completely honest, and it's a good little workout, good to build up your muscles. You know, when I was real sick with cancer and got down to 99 pounds, I lost all of my muscle mass, every bit of it. I've got muscles again, y'all. Got them in my arms, got them in my legs. Probably got muscles where I didn't know muscles could go because I've been cooking and walking and doing what I want with life again. Okay, I'm making a mess. If you can see this, how it is, see how it's got a consistency that lumps? That's the butter broken up in this. Yeah, it's messy, but I don't care. Next thing you're gonna do, once your butter and your Crisco is mixed up with your flour, you're gonna add buttermilk. Get my pastry blender out of here. And be careful if you buy a pastry blender because I've cut my finger on them before. They're, they are sharp. Found that out the hard way. Again, you know me, I do things the hard way. And I'll dump, I'll start off with um, about a cup, about a cup of buttermilk to two and a half cups of flour. And we'll see the consistency of it. You want it sticky. You don't want it real wet, but you don't want it dry. Needs a little bit more milk, and I used all my buttermilk. I'm running out of stuff, y'all. I've already been to Kroger's and Sam's this week, and it's only Wednesday. So I'm gonna put about a quarter cup of 2% milk to this, because I don't want it dry. And I think that just worked out perfect. Yep. Let me show y'all this. See how it become a dough? 
pick it up with my spoon. Okay, next we're gonna roll it out. I'm gonna show y'all a little trick that I do. I take a roll of Reynolds wrap and two pieces of it and I put it on my counter and then I'll dump some flour out on it and my dough and I'll roll it out because it's less mess and easy cleanup. So easy cleanup. So let me get this on here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, see how I've got my Reynolds wrap on my bar and I've covered it with some flour, same flour I used for my dough. I'm gonna pour my dough out in the middle of my flour. And then you're gonna get a sticky mess, so make sure your hands are clean. Flour your hands and sprinkle some on top of your dough and work it. But we're not gonna work it very much because the more you work your dough, the tougher your biscuits will be. I literally just work it enough to where I know I've got some layers and they're soft. I might knead it four times, if that. Then I form it in a ball and I pat it out. Also, preheat your oven to 425 for these. Mine just clicked off and said, it's ready. And I'm making a small batch of these biscuits because we've still got peach cobbler left too and we're having hamburgers and homemade french fries for supper. And I'm gonna show y'all how, how I make my french fries. All right, y'all, get you a pie pan, it's a nine inch. I just sprayed mine with some Pam. Take your handy dandy biscuit cutter and cut it. See how that is? And when I get mine, I flip mine upside down in the pan because the flour will be on top. Let me fill my pan and show you what I do next. All right, y'all, I've got all my biscuits cut out and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine biscuits. You want your biscuits touching in your pan. If they do not touch, they're not gonna rise as good. I promise you this. And I'll cut my biscuits out and then I'll have extra dough. And what I do is I take that dough, I roll it in the ball again, I get it to the thickness I want, about a half inch thick, and then I'll cut again. You just keep doing that until your pan is full. And like I said, I made a small batch this time. Normally I have a nine by 13 or a whole sheet pan full of biscuits because on any given day, there's five to six of us in this house. Before I stick them in the oven, I've got a stick of real butter over here that's soft. I always keep a stick of butter dish on my counter with room temperature butter. And I'll just smear a little bit on top of each biscuit. If I can get it off my knife, like so. I'm gonna cover these with butter. I'm gonna stick them in a preheated 425 oven for 13 to 15 minutes. And we'll come back and show you what they look like. All right, guys, hot out of the oven, buttermilk biscuits. Cooked them for 15 minutes on 425. And then once I felt them and I knew they were done, I put the oven on roll for 30, 45 seconds or do until you want them, you know, golden brown. I don't like mine burnt, but I don't like them light color. To me, this is perfect. So guess what I'm gonna do? Got my Christmas plate out here. Hint, hint, hubby, you know what I want to do. There's trees on this, hint, hint. So I'm gonna get me a biscuit, put it on the plate. And I've got chocolate, uh, homemade chocolate pie filling left. And I'm gonna put it on my biscuit and show y'all how we eat this here in the South. Because it's the only way, the only way. I got me a little handy dandy Pioneer Woman spatula again. Get one of these biscuits out. They smell so good. And they're crispy at the bottom. Do you see that? Look at the layers, y'all. Perfect and just beautiful. So I'm gonna split my biscuit in half just like that. The air pockets from the butter, mm, you know you did something right when it looks like that. And I'm gonna get my remaining chocolate pie filling, put it over my biscuit. Look at that, y'all. Homemade buttermilk biscuits with chocolate pie filling, also known as chocolate gravy. And I'm, you know, I'm gonna go in for that bite and I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna burn my mouth and I'm gonna complain about it, but it's gonna taste good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm. -hmm. mm, -hmm. mm. Y'all, the memories, again. I'm all about memories. Of course, I'm a foodie. And, you know, like I keep saying, I lost 10 months of my life to cancer. I got down to 99 pounds. I couldn't eat. I missed this food, y'all. So I'm not only cooking to show y'all, I'm cooking for me because it is amazing. Amazing. Go make y'all some buttermilk biscuits. Make that chocolate pie. Save you a little bit.